little Christmas music for you there, a little traditional Christmas jingle. There are hundreds, thousands of songs, right? But there are a few that when you hear them, they get stuck in your head for the entire day. And John Berman is here to tell us more about the classic Christmas song, That's exactly Grandma right. Got Run Over by a Reindeer. She sure did. First of all, Kate, happy Hanukkah. But uh, if you live in a, a religiously complicated house like I do, you hear a lot of holiday songs. The question is, where do they all come from? Well, this unusual song, one of the most popular ever, by the way, seriously, this song has one amazing story. We all know why Christmas is white and why Santa Claus comes to town. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. But what the heck is Grandma doing getting run over by a reindeer? And why do we keep hearing about it? I played a lot of kooky records on the air. I was always looking for something that was offbeat, funny. It's all thanks to a San Francisco DJ. So I listened to it and I thought, oh, yeah, that's... I just thought it was hilarious. A part-time veterinarian with a good voice. It's the first time I ever heard myself on the radio. And a novelty songwriter with an inebriated relative. My grandmother did like to drink herself happy on occasions, and we did worry about her leaving the house. In 1979, Dr. Elmo Shropshire heard it, recorded a version, and thought little of it, until DJ Gene Nelson played it for what he thought might be the only time. Happy holiday to you. Listeners were saying, you gonna play that song again? It went gold, platinum. There was a video, a cartoon, and of course, controversy. Some people loved it and some people hated it. There were calls to pull it off the airwaves, calling the song ageist, sexist, and counter to the Christmas spirit. Grandma did have incriminating claws marks on her back. I think there are people, maybe too many people, that take life too seriously. It wasn't, let's pull the plug on grandma. But 30 years later, to their surprise, no one is pulling the plug on them. The people are beginning to say that this song is, uh, is one of the great classics. And we are joined now by the one and only Dr. Elmo. Good morning. Good morning, Jay. See, it was kind of a joke when you wrote it, right, 30 it, years ago. It was. I thought it would be funny for one year, and then that would be the end of it. <laughs> and here we are, 30 years later. You know, we were looking, some of the, um, I don't mean to insult you, but people name it as one of those songs that annoys them sometimes. It's one of their least favorites because they hear it over and over and over. I know. I have the, uh, well, you know, I'm proud to say it's been listed in many of the 10 worst Christmas songs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm number one. And you're proud of that. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it. Thank you, okay. Dr. Elmo. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Now we're all so proud of Grandpa He's been taking this so well. See him in there watching football, drinking beer and playing cards with Cousin Mel. It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the family's dressed in black. And we just can't help but wonder, should we open up her gifts or send them back? Send them back! Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Sing it, LaGuardia! Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we 